my interests are, you know, pediatric orthopedics, uh, and one large component of my practice is spinal deformity. I've probably done close to 250 patients now with robotic guidance. The accuracy has been documented to be 99% plus. The robotic device is designed to guide the placement of the screw. And it does so in a very accurate way and it corresponds to the pre-op plan that I usually do the day before the surgery. The Renaissance enables me to achieve a better outcome when it allows me to capture the specific vertebra that I want to grab in order to manipulate the spine in, in such a way that allows me to either level the shoulders, center the head over the pelvis, or recreate a sagittal profile. My original indication for using the Renaissance was going to be a very difficult spine with a, a difficult curve, especially in the mid and upper thoracic area. Uh, however, I found that it works so well. Why deprive my patients that have maybe smaller or easier curves from the same technology? So I pretty much use this for all of my cases. One of the big advantages of the software is I place the screw uh, on the software and I can verify that it is a safe placement of a screw and that it's in an ideal position. So the big question is, now that I've planned that, is that reproduced during the surgery? and I, we have lots of data that show that it is reproduced. So we basically download the operation to the workstation in the operating room. Having your child undergo scoliosis surgery uh, can be scary, frightening. It certainly makes a lot of parents nervous. And I explain to them that uh, while I can do the surgery without it, I think this adds an element of safety um, to the most delicate part of the case. When I see them in the pre-op area, I always show them their disc and tell them I've already done the surgery and now I just have to complete it. It's already been done. The accuracy with which it does it, if we're off by more than a millimeter, it won't let us even try to insert the screw. In order to use robotic guidance, uh, patients have a preoperative CT scan of their spine. Now, this is more radiation than a standard x-ray, but this is counterbalanced by a system that allows for a high degree of accuracy, which enhances safety, the safety of the surgery. I think it's well worth it. So I think indirectly it gives me a better clinical outcome.